Hello guys, my name is LucasLab118, this is the Dark Arts Player channel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the DayZ mod uh, for Minecraft. Uh, this works on version 1.3.2 at the time of recording. Uh, I think it's 1.3.2? Yeah, 1.3.2. Um, so anyways, this is going to be the how to install the mod video, and then after that you can click the the annotation in the top right to go to my showcase where I actually show you the mod itself. So anyway, what we're going to do first is you want to um, you want to go to Google and go to Minecraft Forge, and then you want to go to MinecraftForge.net. From there, you want to go to releases. Um, the latest release. And then you want to grab either through the AdFly link or the direct link, the universal version of the Minecraft Forge client. Alright, um, I've already got this, so we're going to open this up. And you can see there's a lot of stuff in here. This is Minecraft Forge. So what you want to do then is go to App Data. So you want to open up the Start menu and go percent App Data percent hit enter and you will get this window which is your app data um, and then you want to go to dot minecraft and then you want to go to bin minecraft dot jar right click it and open it with winrar um, or 7-zip or whatever you use um, oh, disappeared Oh no, there it is. Okay, so then first things first, you want to delete MetaInf. This will uh, allow you to put mods in. If you don't, if you leave that in and put mods in, it can sometimes, well, most of the time, will crash. Um, so all you want to do is drag over the Minecraft Forge files into your Minecraft.jar. Alright, and then you want to run Minecraft, so let's just get the Minecraft program up and install it. Ah, here we go. And that is, there you go, as you can see, Minecraft Forge loaded. Um, so now the reason that we run this is because it actually makes some files. Um, that you need so you've got these like car mods and yeah MP cache and stuff like this all right so next step um, you can close down your minecraft jar and you can close down these uh, minecraft forge and then you want to go to the link in the description below which is the link to where they host the daisy mod and then you want to go to the latest version and click the download button there. Um, now I've already got this, so what you want to do is you want to drag these into a folder. So let's just quickly make a new folder on my desktop. New folder and just call it Daisy. And then we're going to drag. I'm going to drag these files in, and as you can see, you've got manual installer, and you just want to run this installer.jar. As you can see, it says make sure that so that Forge is installed. Where is it? And that's where we want to be. We're going to take backup worlds, advanced. This just gives you a rundown of what it is. Um, so we're going to click this to install it. Ooh, could not detect dabba dabba da. Ah, no, what sorry, we need to uh, go to the bin folder. So I navigate to this um this folder here on your computer. Obviously replace the Luke with whatever the name of your user account is on your computer. And just press go. I oh, know it. 
you do you want it to be in the dot minecraft folder oh right now press continue with installation and that is now done so now if we run minecraft again see we've got three mods loaded and if we've got mods we have daisy so that's the install um, as always guys my name is look at that one eight this is the dark ass play channel if you want to check out the actual mod itself there is a annotation in the top right which will let you go to my mod spotlight of this mod um, but anyway guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time